an unexpected hotspot, the White House itself. There is a member of the vice president's team who is positive for coronavirus. Penn's press secretary, Katie Miller, has been handling communications for the coronavirus task force. An official tells NBC News she showed symptoms Friday. Thursday, she was part of the VP's event in Virginia. Friday, the vice president continued with a trip to Iowa, where he did not wear a mask. I, I Officials say he tested you. negative. Complicating West Wing contacts, Miller's husband, Stephen Miller, is a senior advisor to President Trump, who also attended their February wedding. She's a wonderful young woman, uh, Katie. She tested uh, very good for a long period of time, and then all of a sudden today she tested positive. Miller is the second staffer since Thursday to test positive. She follows an unnamed military valet who was last with the president Tuesday. This is probably the safest place uh, that you can come to. Chief of Staff Mark Meadows insisted the environment is safe. We put in some additional protocols uh, over the last 48 hours and we'll continue to monitor. The president, who is tested daily, talk up, you have a mask on your face. Chose not to wear a mask with elderly World War II veterans Friday, but kept a distance. I would have loved to have gone up and hugged them. Plus, the wind was blowing so hard in such a direction that if if the plague ever reached them. Meeting with Republican House members, the president said he expects coronavirus flare-ups as people return to work. But he also rendered a scientific opinion at odds with many experts. This is going to go away without a vaccine. It's going to go away, and it's uh, we're not going to see it again.